What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel on today's episode. We got Josue with us. Um, currently we are trying to button up things on the engine so that hopefully we can lay out our wiring and do a first start. There's going to be a lot in this episode. We've got LS coil on plug conversion. We've got new VVTi solenoid. We've got new cam and crank sensors. We've got sensors all over the place. We are wiring it up with a Mega Squirt ECU, which is what you see here. So we're going to just lay out all the wires. It's not going to be really pretty right now, but uh, and we'll just make it prettier as time goes on. Um, I am trying to find all the parts and pieces right now, so we're just going to kind to hop right into it. Genuine. We got a genuine OEM replacement Lexus parts, genuine parts. So we're putting in all new hardware, except for that guy, because he's a stud, which is stupid. Mm. Uh-huh. It's That's my shit. Oh, I'll go for another different version of that sock. Oh, our praying mantis friend is back. Hello is there. It? Oh, that's a pose. Look, look, look at it, look at it. That's a pose right that there. That is a pose, you're right. Does anyone I'm have dollars? I so wish I could shoot that thing on camera. All right, so Josue is doing a spank up job. Nathan's over here drinking. Yingling. More ying for your ling. These stainless steel bolts cleaned up the engine bay so much. Honestly, it looks phenomenal. I'm going to work on taking this guy off uh, so we can get our gaskets behind it. And we've got new NGK uh, spark plugs. We also started getting our coil pack set ready. So our coil packs, we've got our boots, we've got our spacers for the tops, and then we've got our wiring. So all of that came in a kit from CX Racing. Praying Mantis. Is he freaking humping the intake? Man. Oh, yeah. Oh, getting it. He gets, mm. it. He gets mm. it. Are you Japanese? That's yeah. why he's so attracted. <laughs> you know, praying mantises are from Japan. Are they from Japan? They are from Japan. Like, that's an actual fact? They are from Japan. I don't know what's the last thing I've reported, but... We've got an LS coil pack conversion for the 2J from CX Racing. Come with these little coils, you got to take the little covers off, not a big deal. And then they have their little brackets and spacers, and then you stick the original boot on here, and then you just boop right onto the spark plug. So we're doing that now, and the camera's about to die, so I gotta change the battery. Yeah, what he said. The GE actually comes with. Um, Restart! So the GE actually comes with a coil pack for uh, per two cylinders, so there's only one usable boot on the original so what i did is went on to uh i believe it was just i just went on rock auto got some ngk boots they were ridiculously cheap i think they were honestly i think they were like 57 cents a piece they were great it may have been it may have been a couple dollars but you get brand new oem ish boots now you can just stick it on the end of your plug like this or you know of your coil pack, and then you just kind of set it down in here. She runs like a charm. So the reason that I went with CX Racing is one, the price. It didn't need to be super bougie for me. Uh, you can get this from a bunch of different places and pay a lot more money for the brackets, and they look really, really good. Don't get me wrong. I just didn't really care for the look, um, and I really like the wiring harness it came with. This is freaking dope. It's already everything's ran and labeled and uh, weatherproof connectors so I'm really happy with the way this came out it's gonna make integrating it into the mega squirt ridiculously easy all right so now I am screwing with putting the starter on it's nasty and ugly it doesn't really matter um, because it's gonna start the car and it's important um, while I'm doing that Josue is going to be putting on a new crank sensor cam sensor actually i might be right in the way of that but that's fine we're just going to keep everything going because we're honestly crushing the amount of work that's being done so yep i have no idea where the wires are going to run Shit. i'll put it in all right guys you know putting in the late night grind it's like one in the morning <laughs> but neither one of us can sleep anyway because we're way too excited so we've got our intake here I have not gotten the parts in to make the custom throttle body adapter. Yeah. After we get that on, as you can kind of see here, we are going to start running our wiring, which is really, really exciting. Um, 
I'd like to go into the depths of it. So we've got our wiring diagrams here. We're gonna do a full standalone ECU from Megasquirt. Uh, we're just gonna have it just on the inside of the firewall. We've got a fuse box ready to go. So, but I really wanna go in depth with what we're doing wiring wise. But for now, we're gonna go ahead and get our intake on with our new fuel injectors here in just a second. I'll go into depth about those. So, uh, basically ripped my finger off, not really. Almost ripped my nail off and I'm bleeding all over the place. Um, right now, we are putting in our FIC injectors. So we're putting them in our fuel rail right now. Get this top O-ring, come on, focus. This top O-ring right here, we're gonna go ahead and put a little bit of oil on it. it. Should slide right in. And then we're gonna take our entire fuel rail. We'll put oil around this O-ring on the other side, on the injector side. Plug it all in, uh, all at once, super satisfying. And then we will have our injectors inside of our fuel rail and ready to get hooked up uh, to our intake. So with, them, with the oil on there, it doesn't take a lot for them to slide in. Uh, and just make sure they're seated in there nice and deep black. So currently, Josue is going through injector wiring and then he'll go through uh, coil wiring and pull those out. Uh, I am going to grab a battery, start hooking things up and start running and start putting together our fuse box. And I'll run some wires from our switch to a fuse box and to our, to our battery and whatnot. All right guys, it is four in the morning. Josue has Helped me tremendously and did most of this himself. Um, I just started all of this crimping and whatnot is temporary. We want to make sure that everything's working and then we're going to come back and make it really pretty. Uh, just because it's our first time wiring all this up. If we had experience and knew exactly what we were doing 100%, then we would have made it pretty right off the bat. But we want to make sure it's going to work. Uh, that's why the that's why you got wires that are extra long and whatnot. And so... You know, and we got coil wires that the looms up there and we're still going to leave these long and a whole bunch of miscellaneous sensors that we got to figure out uh, that I did not buy yet. So I will catch you all in the morning. All right, so we have buttoned up quite a bit of the wiring. Everything's still not loomed because we wanted to make sure everything's gonna work 100%. Um, and so having to loom it and then find out any problems that could be underneath the surface afterwards, because that would really suck. I will go over all the wiring here in just a little bit. Right now, Josue is <laughs> putting together some final touches. And his brother, Arasto, came and joined us today. And he is figuring out how we're going to set up our Mega Squirt because somebody didn't buy the freaking tuning cable. So the next thing is we're going to hopefully button up some things and jerry-rig some things and get this thing to turn over, which we're super excited about. And get some pizza. We're thinking about doing that too. All right, guys, so this is an exciting time. What we've got hooked up right now is we've taken the turbo off. We have oil in the engine. We have oil in the transmission. Gear oil, whatever. We're about to turn it over for the first time. So hopefully it works and nothing explodes. But I don't think it's going to. I kind of tested everything out with the I'm not going to explain anything. I'm going to start this the Breakers on. Salary started off at 75000 
dude. That, that's awesome. All right, let's initiate, let's initiate the mega squirt so that maybe we can get the sexually thing to fire. Who gives a shit anymore? Yeah. Oh my god, dude, that's freaking amazing. Hey, will you cr flip the first switch and crank it? I want to see it from up here. That's amazing. Dude, <laughs> I don't think I've been so happy in a long time. All right, guys, so that's pretty much where we're going to cut it off for this video. Um, it's been a while since I filmed, so. But I'm really happy with the way everything turned out. Next video, we're going to explain in depth all of this mess. Uh, if you want to check that out, I should drop it hopefully just a couple days or a day after I drop this episode. So make sure to stay tuned. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will catch you all in the next one. Peace.